Hey guys, it's okay. <laughs> Symphony. So today I need to trim my bangs. Just got out of the shower. I've been growing my bangs out for a while now. I finally found how I like to have them, like kind of longer. This is gonna be just not a professional video whatsoever. I'm just gonna sit here. I'm gonna have my mirror set up right here. I'm sorry that it's in the frame, but I have to see. This plant's in frame and you guys are just gonna have to deal with it because I said so. So all you need is some combs, a razor, one of the most important parts, and shears. I do not recommend doing this at home or doing this yourself unless you really know what you're doing. I have been cutting my own bangs for literally years. I'm just gonna bring forward all of my bangs. As you can see, I'm starting to get a little bit of face framing going on. So what I'm gonna do just get those face framing pieces out too. And then I'm gonna take all of this hair and just like tie it back. So now like these face framing pieces right here, I'm just gonna tuck behind my ears. As you can tell, they're like really in my eyes right now. Um, you have to remember when you're cutting your bangs, they're going to spring up. Okay, so I'm probably gonna cut about like that much off of them. And they're in the middle to be about like the shortest part. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut that very middle like section right there because since I am like growing my bangs out, I want them to start going like this more. So now I'm gonna let my face frame pieces fall out too. And what I'm gonna do is this is honestly so scary, you guys. Go from where you guys see that like short pieces in the front that I just cut. And I'm just gonna slowly like start to work my way down. And as you can see, like I've cut my face frame before <clears throat> and I did a really bad job. So it's not a big deal that I'm like kind of recutting that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move on over to this side. See how like now when they part, they're going so much more like that. That's what I'm going for. Cause I really don't wear my bangs forward at all anymore. So now we're running into what my number one problem is and it's how fucking thick my bangs are. What I'm gonna do, Let's take this razor now. Most important thing, so that I don't make the same mistake that I made before, is that I'm gonna section off this top piece of my bangs. Because I don't want the razor to touch this at all. So, I'm just gonna take random chunks. This is gonna be so hard. And just kinda slide my razor down. So what the razor does is it takes out bulk. This is where you're gonna see the most amount of like hair on the floor. So I would kind of take it slow. You know, don't just rip the razor through here with no care in the world because you're gonna end up really fucking your hair up. Trust me, I'm speaking solely from experience here. But I also, but aside from like going between the hair, I like to kind of pick the hair like this and really, um, Go over the top like that, just to kind of soften the ends. Now I'm gonna take down this top layer of my bangs. I'm gonna take down the rest of my hair as well. Okay, so they're feeling much better. I'd say for the most part that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry my bangs now, which I typically let them air dry, but I'm just not gonna do that today. I really wanna make sure that they turned out okay. I'm gonna bring you guys over. Also, look at how much hair is on the floor. But so anyway, all you need 
it's a blow dryer and your fingers. And the technique is that you're gonna go blow it all to one side and then you're gonna blow it all to the other side. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and um, put a little bit of product in my hair. <clears throat> just the stuff that I like normally use. Just for the rest of my hair. My veins actually do look really good right now. I'm really happy that I trimmed them. I was really nervous and I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna fuck everything up. Like, I'm just always like, I get so nervous about touching my veins because I really don't want to fuck it up. So. Like, hold on, I'm gonna move again. I just want you guys to see, like. Do you see that texture and movement that's in there now? Like, and it just swoops. It's so nice. This is how I've been wearing my bangs for quite a while now. And I'm liking that I'm getting like a good face frame going. Because my overall goal is to just let my hair grow as... <laughs> that sounded so gross. Well, I have Goodbye Horse Girl on Instagram and then like Jane something. I'm going to put both their handles on the screen. You guys need to follow them because they literally give me so much inspiration for hair. I just know how I want my hair to grow out and I know the cut that I want all thanks to them. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let my hair dry and do my makeup and then I'll probably come back in and do one more check-in and sort of outro so that you guys can really see how this looks. But yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching how I cut my bangs and I hope it was at least entertaining. It probably wasn't very uh, helpful, but at least entertaining, right? So. Hey guys, this is my check-in. Don't really have makeup on. It's a completely different day, but this is what my hair looks like when it's like naturally dried my bangs as well. As you can see, I've just got like a really good shape going on and then it kind of just goes down and blends in with the rest of my hair. So I was realizing when I was watching this footage back as I was editing, I was like, ooh, it kind of looks like shit, but what you guys have to understand is for one, I'm cutting my own hair and it's not going to be perfect. It's so hard to do your own face frame and not like completely fuck it up, especially when you're using a razor. But also like, as you can see, I mean, this is from braids, but I have naturally super wavy, almost curly hair. And so like, I don't need, nor do I really want my cuts to be like super precision. I just kind of want it to like go with my curl, if that makes sense. And uh, the main reason that I have any sort of face framing at all is just for whenever I pull my hair back, if you can see, those pieces fall down and just kind of like help blend with the bangs. That was like such a bad like way to show that. But see, when I pull my hair back, it gives me like a nice face frame. So that was what I meant. I didn't mean like to have like a super crazy dramatic face frame or anything it's like literally just when i pull my hair back and i just wanted to explain that but so anyway i'm really happy that i trimmed them i think that might be one of the last times i ever do because i really want to grow my bangs out i think but i don't know i'm like literally so indecisive i can never decide if i want to grow them out or what see what i meant like by how thick they are i used to have blunt straight across bangs and this is just me in the process of growing that out and having more of like a shag haircut with like layers and texture and movement and everything versus having like a really blunt cut so Anyway, check those girls out on Instagram. They are so good and they give me so many ideas for how I want my hair to be once it's super long. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you can see more from me. I plan on doing like a hair styling video and like kind of like a hair care routine for you guys too. So yeah, if you're interested in seeing that, be on the lookout and make sure you have notifications turned on. Hit the little bell so that you can see when I upload. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Dream.